Marshmallow Fanboy here with a an odd one because I don't collect Fortnite figures. I got the Lynx figure because it reminded me of the uh, Black Cat issue where she steals uh, an armor from Iron Man. And of course now we do have uh, Iron Cat which is, uh, is a different suit I think. But I thought that's cool. It's like Black Cat in, in, a, in Stark armor. But that's the only one that I have. I think. Don't quote me on that. But these are three and three quarters, which I don't, it's a size that I don't really collect. I'm getting um, the G.I. Joe retro figures from Walmart. Um, I think that's over with. I think, I don't think I'm going to see any more of those anymore. I think they switched to the, to the retros, the six inch retros that are in the, that are in the bubble. But I saw this at Ross. Every once in a while I get, get to a Ross. Um, maybe once a quarter or so. It's depressing because you go into a Ross and and you, there could be anything there, but generally speaking, it's it's pretty empty. But I saw this; it was the only thing there that that I thought that's kind of cool. It has a Christmas theme. I like holiday themes or holiday themed figures. I think those are cool. And I just thought that there's nothing kind of creepier than these are these are human beings. You can see the. The mask is attached to their head and they have regular hands and feet. They are two people who dress up like gingerbread people. You can see the top of her hair. You can see the human hands thing. So these aren't gingerbread people that are sort of anthropomorphized. They're just, they're just people dressed in, in costumes. And that's super creepy somehow. But it has this weird keychain thing and it says double sided. And uh, I like the two figures a lot. I like the whole of the, the Christmas wrapped weapons. And uh, they have these two, four things, which are four building materials, which is, you know, harvest, snap, build. We'll check that out. Two, two gingerbread things there. The price tag is kind of slapped right over us, the top of that. And of course, the back of it doesn't show what's in the pack because you should be able to see everything that's in the pack normally so let's take this out and see if i got some uh, holiday joy out of it okay now that they're out of the package let's uh take a closer look first underneath the parts for for building there was a, a whole checklist on on just a bunch of this stuff including like the weapons and and uh who people are and things like that it is really pretty extensive but i didn't i wasn't super interested in in all of it so but the the four parts that came with it there was this really cool uh pamphlet on uh fortnite building tips and tricks they had all the ways ways that you can put the the pieces together whether it's flat or sort of on a hinge or something like that. So I built a little box. I had four pieces. One of the things it recommends you keep one of the sides open, which was easy with a with a box. You keep uh, two sides open because all I got were four pieces. It was not bad to put it together. Not 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 too difficult. It was pretty cool. So let's start with this um, double sided smiley and frowny uh i know that there's a lot of people who who are younger who enjoy the game who also wear some of these um these clips from their bags i've seen a lot of um uh, mystery mystery bags from marvel and dc and things like that with little keychain things and i guess uh kids hang them off their backpacks I'm guessing. I've only really seen it at Comic-Con, but... Yeah, or maybe it's for collectors to hang them up. Maybe they're like... Maybe they're like Disneyland pins, where there's just somebody covered in pins. Maybe? I don't know. There's uh, this piece, which is very cool. It's a little guy. You can't see him very well, but it's a little guy who fits into a backpack. And there's actual, a little, actually a little place... Where you can wedge him down and he holds still in it but also he stands up on his own so 
He could just be standing there. He also looks like that really angry old man puppet that Jeff Dunham has. Uh, I can't remember. Walter. He looks like Walter. Kind of just really grumpy. It's so really grumpy. But this uh, this thing is a backpack and it goes on to the figure. I'm not, I don't know what that is at the bottom. I know these are chains. And he has the little little compartment. You wedge him down there and then you can see that he sort of stands in the middle of the backpack looking out. Looking pretty disapproving. I don't know if that disapproval is him riding the backpack. The the two gingerbread men that come with it, the, uh, the smiley and the angry, both have uh, pins on the back. I imagine that they just go in like backpacks. Maybe. I'm not sure what else the purpose could be for but it's it's a really nice detail and it's and it gives you options to the, to display i mean if you want to put them on the back that's probably cool and there's this um kind of looks like a razor hoe or something looks like that's the deadly part but it's wrapped up in christmas present in gold paper which is a really nice touch it's got a lot of color to these Let's see. Let's go over. Uh, let's see. Maybe. Uh, yeah, we'll do Mary Marauder first. Mary Marauder has a has kind of a cane with a sort of a gingerbread cookie shape with a with the arm sort of in a knife and the face looking really sort of uh, evil. I don't know if you can see that. Or looking kind of neutral. I might have looked more evil. But it's bizarre as a weapon. But uh, as far as Fortnite goes, it sort of sort of fits. So I gave Mary the uh, pistol. Um, very cool candy cane wrap. Um, see, Mary Marauder has... See if he can look up. See... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Nope, no looking up, and uh, no looking down, but head goes all the way around, and let's see, 360 degree on the arms, the arms go out, they click, it's kind of nice, but of course if you want it to be in a really specific position and it clicks uh, past that position, then you're kind of, you know, not in good shape, but it goes out to about there. See the elbows. Elbow joint is hard to find on these. Right around. I twist right there. So the elbow goes about about to there and stops. So not bad for you know three and three quarter inch figure. It might be a little bit shorter than that. I'm not sure. So the hand rotates all the way around. Let's see, there's a, there's a space right below the rib cage for him to move and he swivels and things. No, uh, no, no movement at the hip, which is fine. There's a, is there a bicep swivel? It looks like, uh, no, there is a, uh, oh, a swivel at the elbow. That's nice. It's a swivel at the elbow. So let's see, ball joint and the legs. So they go out really far he can do the splits and looks like right above the thigh there's a uh, there's a swivel there is there's a thigh swivel there and double pin knees which uh, he can't even close to kick his butt but it's a lot more range of motion than you would have with just one the armor is sculpted kind of away from the joint so you shouldn't have any problems with that with that sculpting interrupting anything um the hinge in the foot but also does it have any rock it has a little rock to it so you can use that to stand him up and he stands up pretty well there's a lot of great little sculpting on him the belt looks like a gi joe belt a little sculpting detail there i'm not sure what a gingerbread man would keep in his pocket uh, the green bow tie. The hits of color on this thing are just inspired. But it, of course, a little bit of the skin here. 
Um, a little frosting down the back. Bandolier is uh, is um, uh, molded on. And then there's this. There's not a lot of give to that. So it's going to stay pretty much like that. And yeah, man, that's Mary Marauder. Solid figure. I like the big feet on both characters. Or the big boots. Because it means that they're easier to stand up. And that'll look a lot better on a shelf. If uh, you're feeling shellfish. But a butts. I say as I try to stand him up. He's going to fall over. Uh, should I hit him with a gun? No, I won't. Okay. So let's go over Ginger Gunner. Ginger Gunner I gave the rifle to. And she holds that really well. Uh, Ginger Gunner is red haired. So that, that's the ginger part of it. Uh, I gave her the big gun. <laughs> She's a gunner. Let's see. Let me see where the joint is on the arm. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I just had to get oriented. So, no up or down on the head, but all the way around 360 degrees. Go back the other way. There's a little bit of give in the ponytail. So, the ponytail moves. I don't think uh, the ponytail is on a no it's just uh it's free so I, I thought it might have been on a on a ball swivel or something so let's see arms all the way out wow wow she goes she goes back really far so if you gave her a, a bladed weapon or something she could draw back on that thing for a giant swing at somebody so let's see it's a swerve at the elbow. See the elbows about there. Not terrible. The uh, joint under the rib cage. Same thing, the G.I. Joe belt buckle. Cool frosting designs. Um, ball, ball joints in the legs. But there's a thigh swivel in there. So you can, so you can get that swivel in. Let's see, double double pin knees, and oh, she can't kick her own butt either. Frustrating. But still better range of motion than Mary Marauder. And, let's see, toes go to a point, toes come up. So there's a hinge. There's also, there's also a little bit of rock to the feet, which makes it a little bit easier to stand her up. And, of course, she's got the big, wide base. Thanks to the thanks to the shoes, so it's easy to stand her up, which is which is great. I'm getting I'm not getting uh, the reason I'm not getting is I've I've passed on a few of the the newer Star Wars three and three fourths inch figures because there's nothing to them, like the Shea Vizsla and the uh, Cosca Reeves look real tiny, and it looks like it'd be just impossible to stand them up. But I like these. These are these are poseable. These are these are great to work with. And also, the the four little panels that came with it. I put them in a in kind of a cube formation. It wasn't real difficult. They um they all have different sides to them, where they're you know you can you can lay them flat. You can kind of lay them like in a hinge. It says to gently twist. So kind of comes apart, and they kind of. You know, could be something. Could also be a little stage. If you had one more up there, you could probably make a little stage and put ginger on there. And have to balance a little bit better, but you get the point. So this was a weird purchase for me. I, I don't get Fortnite. I don't. Um, I don't get the Fortnite figures. I get. I don't get the game either. I don't. I haven't played the game. But I understand it's extremely popular. And the figures are really nice. Jazzwares did a really good job with these figures. And um, yeah, man, like I, I saw the checklist was from 2019. So three years ago, uh, right, maybe right before the pandemic, these were a thing. And I found them at Ross today and in 2020, in August of 2022. So man, it's, a, it's an absolute win. I enjoyed playing with them. 
And uh, hopefully you have these at home, or if you don't, you'll soften up on holiday figures and maybe you'll get get a few. I saw some uh, Funko Pops today that were all snowmen of, uh, of um, Star Wars figures. So they all had the they all had the glitter. They all had sort of the diamond collection feel. And there were also gingerbread men from DC Comics. So that was that was a super cool uh, find today too. So hopefully, you know, I mean it's August, but it's never too early to get in the in the holiday spirit. I don't think you've got got a bunch of holidays coming up right around the corner. So hopefully, uh, you're getting you're getting a lot of joy out of your toys.